Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another review here at Real Rap Reviews Podcast. I'm one of the co-hosts, Javier Rodriguez. Thank you guys for tuning in. And today we're still counting down, going through our Oscar picks here, or some of our films, making it through the Oscar nominations. And today we're going to be talking about Poor Things. Poor, Poor Things is directed by Yorgos Lanthimos. Uh, critically acclaimed director who makes a lot of odd feature films and Poor Things is based on the novel Poor Things and stars Emma Stone, Mark Ruffalo, Gerard Carmichael, William Defoe, pretty solid cast here, and it's the incredible tale about a fictional evolution of a young lady named Bella Baxter, a young woman brought back to life by the brilliant and unorthodox crazy scientist Dr. Goodwin Baxter. So I have to say, Poor Things is a very interesting movie. It's bold and bizarre. This film is quite the experience, I have to say, from its amazing costume designs and settings. I just honestly love the look of this film. It has great cinematography here. Everything is beautifully shot. I mean, from the wide shots, the upper shots, the fisheye lens. I just love the look of this film and it's shot just so beautifully and it captures every scene and every moment just perfectly in the perfect shot. And throughout the film, we go on this epic journey with Bella Baxter, portrayed by uh, the great Emma Stone here. She's fantastic in this movie. Through her life of self-exploration. And what a wonderful, weird time Poor Things is. Basically, like I mentioned, this young woman, Bella Baxter, uh, she's basically brought back to life by this surgeon. He's like a surgeon slash scientist, uh, William Defoe. He kind of has like a Frankenstein look here. Very interesting. Uh, there was definitely, I, I noticed a lot of Frankenstein vibes in this film. Uh, and he basically brings her back to life, but in a way she's kind of like a young child. So she's in a woman's body, but it's a young child and basically teaches her life. And then soon she goes and explores life out on her own to find out what real life is. And she soon finds discoveries about herself, about how she was created, about her family. And I have to say, Emma Stone was just amazing in this movie here. This is one of my favorite performances of her. Emma Stone has been acting for almost for over 15 years and this just she just really shines really well here and she's nominated for best for best uh best actress in this role and highly deserved that nomination because like i said she's just so great in this role she brings curiosity and charm and humor to her character with class too i mean bella she's a strange character but she has humor and class and charm and you you root for her through her journey through her journey in life and like i said william defoe he's great here as dr goodwin baxter william defoe has always been perfect at playing these weird roles and i felt like this role suited him just perfectly and his makeup is just crazy in the movie. Like I said, it's just like kind of like a modern Frankenstein. And like, like I mentioned earlier, there's a bit of Frankenstein and Barbie vibes. I feel like there is a little bit of mix of Barbie here. But at the same time, Poor Things still manages to keep it original with its odd storytelling. A very fun picture. Uh, very sexual, though. I do have to, you know, the film is rated R, so it is very sexual. But very interesting, too. A lot of interesting points on life and philosophy. And Bella soon learns that as she, like, explores life. She's just exploring life and trying to find out the true meaning of life and to find out where she fits in in this world. Because, like I said, she's basically like a child. She has the brain of a child, of an infant. And she's, in a way, we're watching Bella grow up. I mean, she's already in a woman's body, but we're watching her grow up. And I think that the film is just, it's a, it's a really work of art. It's very bizarre though. Very weird, very over the top, but very original. Um, Yorgos, I mean, he's known for making these weird, bizarre films. A couple years ago, he did a film, The Lobster. So he's known for making bizarre, out of this world pictures. And I think he definitely nails the mark right here with Poor Things. Uh, very interesting picture. Uh, takes a little bit of while to get into, but it, at, once you get in there and once you go on this uh, self-discovery with Bella and her journey, I think it's it's a fun time and it's worth the watch. And Poor Things is up for numerous awards at this year's Academy. Definitely would like it to see. Definitely would like it to see uh, to get some recognition because the film is very well made and very interesting, and it is a real work of art. Uh, it's nominated for Best Picture, Best Actor, uh, Best Costume, and Set Design. So hopefully you get some of those because the film is really really well done really beautiful to look at as crazy and bizarre as it is i'm gonna go ahead and give four things an a minus all right guys thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more reviews here at the real rap reviews podcast